Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. In this video, we'll demonstrate some of the functionality of the DBMS Cloud Package with reference to objects in a cloud object store and files on the database server file system. The DBMS Cloud Package was introduced in Autonomous Database to provide a simple way to interact with an object store from the database. It can be manually installed in on-prem installations for versions 19C and 21C. In this video we'll use an Oracle Cloud Storage Bucket, but the DBMS Cloud Package works equally well with S3 buckets and Azure Blob Storage. We connect to a privileged user. We create a new user called Test User 1 and grant it some basic privileges. We give it the Create Credential privilege and grant to execute on the DBMS Cloud Package. We create a directory object called TMP files dir, pointing at the slash TMP slash files directory on the database server. We grant read write privileges on this directory to the test user and the C hash hash cloud dollar service user. The C hash hash cloud dollar service user performs actions for the DBMS Cloud Package. We already have the physical directory on the database server and a file called test1.txt. We connect to the test user and create a credential to authenticate to our cloud object store. We call the create credential procedure, passing in a credential name, Oracle Cloud user email address and an auth token with access to the object store. We access the Cloud Object Store using a URI. We define variables to hold the base of the URI and a namespace. We set the base URI which includes our region. We also set the value of our namespace which will be included in the URI when we make calls. We use the put object procedure to copy a file from the database server to the Cloud Object Store. We pass in the credential name, the URI of the object we want to create in the object store. This is made up of the base URI, the namespace, the bucket and the object name. We identify the file to be copied using the directory name and file name. There's an overload of the put object procedure that writes a blob to the cloud object store. We define a blob variable assign a value to it, call put object passing the credential and URI and the blob for the contents. The list objects table function allows us to check the contents of the cloud object store. We pass in the credential and URI of the bucket and we display the objects in the bucket. The get metadata function accepts a credential and object URI and returns metadata about the object. The get object procedure copies an object to a file. It accepts the credential and object URI of the object in the cloud object store and the directory name and file name of the destination file. The getObject function accepts a credential and an object URI of the object in the cloud object store and returns the object as a blob. The deleteObject procedure removes an object from the cloud object store. We pass in the credential and the URI of the object to be deleted. The delete file procedure removes a file from the database server. We pass in the directory name and the file name to be deleted. The list files function lists the files in a directory, but it's only supported for OFS or DBFS. If we try to use it against a normal file system, it gives an error. As you can see, the DBMS Cloud Package allows easy access to a cloud object store from the database. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.